Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. It's been a little bit of a busy summer, so I'm not, I have not been able to do as many videos, but I, um, I'm always here and I'm going to keep on plugging away and doing more videos for you. I'm also doing my online tutorials, which I do. I add a new one every two weeks and having fun with that. So today I'm going to do a pour. It's going to be a little bit of a swipe and I want to do peacocky colors. So I've got, I've got kind of a pre-mixed color that I have made that is kind of a raw sienna. I've got some orange and purple. This is Emperor's Gold by Deco Art. This is Vintage Brass by Deco Art. It's a little lighter than the Emperor's Gold, but it has a little bit more sparkle in the Vintage Brass, so that's why I like it so much. Then I've got my typical white pre-mixed, and everything is one part paint to two parts flow trial. I'm trying just a little bit different ratio, a little bit more fluid this time. So uh, the last two that I need to mix are Liquitex Basics Thalo Cyanine Green and Fine Touch from Hobby Lobby Thalo Cyanine Blue. So I'm going to add at least two parts of Floetrol to one part paint. I want more Floetrol than I typically do. I want to thin it out just a bit more. And then as always with tube paint, you're always going to add water to get it to the right consistency because the tube paint is so much thicker than craft paint in a bottle. I use all brands, but when you're using the tube paint, it's going to end up thicker than you really need. So you just mix up really well your paint and flow trawl first. You always want to get it all mixed up where the paint binds to the flow trawl first. And then you start adding your water, and my water is 90% water, 10% flow trawl. So it, it just combines with the paint mixture a little bit better with the flow trawl, a little bit of flow trawl in that water. It just helps it bind a lot easier. It's good, but I want it a lot thinner, so I'm going to put another squirt. All right, that looks pretty good. And then I'm just going to use my same stick for the phthalo cyanine blue. And Floetrol is white, but it dries clear, and so when you mix it with your paint color, it is going to lighten that paint color just ever so slightly. So keep in mind that when you have a wet painting, it's going to be much lighter than when it dries. It's going to always dry darker. That's pretty much true for most paint brands or no matter what method you use, your painting typically will dry on the darker side. Purple, green, blue, orange, a little bit of brown, and then gold. So I think those will be my colors. I was going to maybe add a little white to the blue or green, but I, I don't think I will. And what I've got for swiping with is uh, some just pieces of kind of like cardstock that came from like canvases that I opened, the, the cardstock that comes inside of it that's kind of under the plastic. I've torn it into strips so I can swipe with it kind of in controlled sizes. Everything was mixed. Two parts flow trial, one part paint. Just wanted you to make sure to see that. Sixteen by twenty canvas. I got my push pins in the back to keep it elevated on the table so that you can get your fingers under it and it's not laying in a puddle of paint. So the first thing I want to do is add my white base coat. 
And I've got a Wilton icing fondant spreader that's in my Amazon link below the video. And I have, I have no idea. I typically don't start pours with a very, really specific idea. I just have a general idea of what I want to do, and then I kind of wing it from there to get you know my final results. Because I like the freedom of starting a pour and not controlling everything about it. I'm going to pop the air bubbles and the white just real quickly. I think I'm going to do it horizontally this time. So I'm going to swipe with my gold and I think I'm going to swipe with the vintage brass. So I want it pretty fluid. And I do have OGX in the colors. Uh, I did not add any to the blue or green. But I don't think I need to because I've already got it in the other colors. And so this is, I'm going to do this swipe a little differently. Typically I would do horizontal bands of color or vertical bands of color. And I kind of want it to fan out. So I think what I'm going to do is do a pour, a puddle pour, and swipe outwards, I think. <laughs> okay. I'm going to add, no, I don't think I'll add any white. The white's already on here. So I'm going to just kind of pour a puddle of the green. blue, purple, brown, so I'm basically doing a central puddle pour. I don't, yeah, I don't want a lot of brown, I don't think. And then orange. Maybe I'll do the Emperor's Gold. Just a, like a band of it. I have no idea how this will look. And then... I'm going to pour this vintage brass right here at the bottom, which is pouring off the bottom of the canvas, and that's okay. So, swipe and then wipe off. I'm going to go to these smaller pieces here. Add just a little bit more. I'm wiping off on a piece of uh, paper towel over to the side. Okay, I always have cups and things moved out of the way so you don't hit it with your hand. I'm going to pick some of this gold up off the, scoop it up from the table, put it back here in the middle. 
So this lasts pretty well as far as swiping because it's pretty hardy so you can kind of use it over and over again. That was curved, so I need a fresh piece that's not curved. And I'm going to go back up kind of centrally through there. You kind of hold your breath when you do these kind of uh, pours because, you know, you really don't know what to expect and you, you, you're hoping for great results, but you never really know. Just a little bit more gold down here. And do one more totally clean pit piece for this area. I'm going to use my heat gun. That's not the results I wanted, so. So I don't think I had OGX in the gold and so I expected way more cells but because it has OGX it's just going to have to sit for a little while. That's kind of the nature of OGX. Sometimes it just takes a little while for cells to grow. And this may have no cells either. So we shall see what happens with it. Alcohol. Ninety percent alcohol. I just went ahead and decided to spritz it just to see if anything would happen. It did cause some little cells to break up.
So because white is underneath, that's why the white's coming out. Okay, I'm going to say this one is done. I uh, played with it enough. It was just fun rolling the balloon and just kind of seeing what effects you can get. And There's probably several times that I could have left it well enough alone, but it's just sometimes fun to play. So this is just kind of random, random rolls. I'm going to just take this and scoop it up. different. Just leftovers, playing with leftovers. It's kind of a neat vibe to it. So If you enjoyed it and if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel 
click on the bell on the bottom right and you'll get notifications when I post new videos and check out all the links below my video where it says show more and I will see you on the next video. I hope you have a fabulous day. See you next time. Bye-bye.